This next comedian here is Mr. Troy. Come on up, Troy. Come on, dude. Mr. Troy. Good news, guys. Good news. Uh, my doctor said my x-rays came back negative. Yeah. I said, well, if they came back positive, wouldn't they just be photographs? <laughs> And uh, it's going to be one of those kinds of sets, so... <laughs> Athlete's foot, that's a weird diagnosis, right? Because you don't even have to play sports to get it. But it makes me wonder, like, what do they call athlete's foot over in Europe? Do they call it athlete's meter? <laughs> then I'm like, no, they probably call it something dumb, like... Sock -er. <laughs> Hey, if, uh, if dragons spit hot fire, how come I never heard their mixtape? When I was at the doctor's office, uh, I have performance anxiety, so I was like, uh, Doc, is Viagra right for me? And he's like, well, do you have erectile dysfunction? I said, uh, no, I just need help with my stand-up performance. I'm going to Chili Line tonight. Give me two of them blue pills. I don't have my copay. Can you front me? He kicked me out of his office. I was like, joke went on a little too long. <laughs> well, he's clapping for Fuck you for clapping. I don't know. It hurts my feelings, man. I don't know, but it's dry. All right. I was a bartender for years. I was a bartender for years, and uh, like I, I always had to reassure women that their drinks were roofie-free. And I think that's pretty pretty noble of me, you know, not charging for roofies. <laughs> <laughs> Some of you don't want to laugh at like that joke is real. Like, come on, it's a fucking joke. <laughs> I uh, I got fired from work today for telling an abortion joke. <laughs> I know. Don't think the irony was lost on me how I got terminated. <laughs> <laughs> the, the real tragedy is I have so many abortion jokes I don't know which one it was. Yes, sir. Because that one truly was a keeper. I don't know if you just got mad at me like, for telling an abortion joke that was not an abortion joke. That was a joke about abortion jokes. <laughs> Uh, I don't know, I call, I call pine trees monologues. I know it's got a girl on it. Oh my god, oh my god. No surprise, it took him the longest time. <laughs> Uh, I'm lactose intolerant, which just means I eat my cereal with a fork. Oh, uh, did you hear what? Uh, Have you heard of almond milk? Uh, I, I don't know what she said. I don't want to know. Uh, hey, did you hear what uh, Pope Francis said today? Pope Francis said that anal sex prevents pregnancy. Yeah, it's good news we can all get behind, right? <laughs> Unless the person in front of you is lactose intolerant, then it depends. Are you going up? <laughs> then uh, maybe uh, just listening.
I think that if I was a woman, I'd be a complete slut. And that's based just purely on how good it feels when I clean my ear with a Q-tip. <laughs> that's all the research that went into that joke. <laughs> Sometimes though, like I'll put one in each ear, you know? But if I'm feeling really kinky, I'll do two in one. Because I like to party. <laughs> Hey, thanks for listening, guys. Uh, any of you guys, too. Thanks, uh, thanks a lot. This has been fun. I'm Troy. Take care. Yeah.